Alright guys, welcome back to another new walkthrough on a Mario Kart Tour. Today is going to be the 27th of July. It's Wednesday, so we're going to be coming into a brand new tour. The Piranha Plant Tour just ended and now we're going to be coming in into the Ocean Tour. And this tour will actually start a two-tour celebration known as the Summertime Celebration. So, while the game is loading, I would like to also... Uh, pop up a picture for you guys on the screen right now so that you guys can see the timeline for the summertime uh, celebration which will of, will of course start with this tour the ocean tour and the next tour will be a mystery tour but we can see those uh, rewards that are uh, you know uh, kind of uh, listed out there for you guys on the graphics so there you go and here we go ocean tour is coming in and uh, yeah so uh, last tour was a bit slow. I know it was a bit slow and a bit late on and everything. I, I even just uploaded the, or actually I would say published uh, the what do you call it? The the Bangkok tour, a tour summary like three or four days ago uh, of the Ocean Tour start date here today. So yeah, that was a bit late and but I, I was able to actually upload everything of the last tour, which was the Parent Plant tour by the start of this tour. So everything's already uploaded and yeah. So now we're going to be coming into the Ocean Tour and it will be running from today which is going to be the 27th of July until the 10th of August 1.59pm UTC plus 8 time zone or if it's in UTC it will be at 5.59am So yeah, summer challenges right there You can get a total of 30 rubies plus of course all these rubies here in each of the challenges So Sorry New Tour is going to be one, the easiest one to get already of the bat so so new tour, general multiplayer race, collect a total of 300 coins in races, clear 6 cups, get first place in a race 15 times, collect a total of 1000 coins in races, clear 12 cups, get first place in a race 30 times, as well as 50 times. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, uh, 2, 4, 6, uh, so that's 9. 18. So yeah, it's 30 plus 18 so that you can actually get up to 48 rubies from completing the summer challenges sheet right here. So while we're here, we're going to check out the uh, other challenges stuff. So premium challenges, we have the uh, Great Starry Great Sail. Actually just Starry Great Sail Glider that you can get as its ultimate reward. You can also get Toad Pick Crew, the blooper, the super blooper cart, the Peach Parasol, and of course coins and rubies etc. Premium challenges plus up to 20 rubies as its ultimate reward and of course various tickets right there. Tour Challenges 1, Tour Challenges 2, Tour Multiplayer Challenges, Total Points Challenge 1 and 2 up to 900k as usual, as well as the Goal Challenges. Alright, so yeah, looks like we will not be having a Kart Pro Challenge Sheet for this tour, but yeah, these are going to be the challenges for this tour. And now we are going to be claiming our Week 2 Piranha Plant uh, Rent Cup results. And let's see uh, where I actually ended up. Last time, I think it, I was like in top 4 the last I saw it and it's going to be top 5, okay, so I went down 1 But it actually won't change because 4th and 5th place will actually make my tier unchanged so I'm going to be still in tier 56 right there, 10 rubies, uh, 600 coins As well as 3 high-end driver caps, uh, points cap up tickets alongside with supers and normals And then 1000 coins from my friend's ranking So I was able to rack up 73,159 points 22.8k on SNES Ghost Valley 1RT, 22.7k on 3DS Piranha Plant Slide T, and 27.5k on SNES Mario Circuit 2RT. That's, and in first place, got 88k, which is actually roughly 15,000 points more than mine. 26.7k, 34.6k, and 26.7k. This guy definitely popped up in 3DS Piranha Plant Slide T. Uh, but yeah, good for him. And now we're going to be coming into this tour. So. We also have a summer login bonus, so that's something to see. So the first day here will be 5 rubies, and then it will give you coins, more rubies, tickets, until the final day, which will of course give you more coins, tickets, and rubies. So be sure to log in every day, and you are going to be able to enjoy all these rewards. Alright, now coming into the tour, the summertime celebration begins. The summer login bonus will be active from today. 27th of July until the 24th of August. So uh, for next tour, there will also be uh, the login bonus as well. You can get up to 14 bonuses through the summer login bonus. Login every day to get a total of 20 rubies, 10,000 coins, and all types of high-end level boost tickets. Summer challenges will become available, which can get you a total of 48 rubies, as I already mentioned earlier on. Better rewards and token shop. The token shop lineup will feature the Dolphin Me Racing Suit and Peach Vacation. Well, this is only for this tour. Also, the Golden Pie, which can only be fired once, guarantees a high-end item. And it will be added to the lineup for just this tour. Yeah, there you go. 
So collect event tokens and get high-end items. For some more points, cap ticket for high-end drivers and level boost tickets of all kinds will be included as well. So there'll be 600 tokens to get uh, all three of these lineups right here. So it is going to be going to be really good because actually for both of these high-end drivers, I do not have it. So it's going to be really good. I mean, the Dolphin me racing suit uh, is actually a new driver. So it's good to see that coming in here. So I can get actually two new. Uh, drivers into my roster for uh, from the token shop this tour. The watermelon card debuts as a reward for placing high in the rank cup. Okay, so yeah, for both of the weeks for this tour, you can get that. But we're gonna be checking out what uh, is the exact top spots that you should be able to uh, be in in order to get that watermelon card. So moving on to the ocean tour starts now. So. You can earn rubies and baby peach as tour gifts. If you are subscribed to the gold pass, then you also have a chance to get the surf master as a tour gift. In the Daisy Cruiser R course, at 1 cc or higher place, are occasionally unable to continue gliding at the end of the course after using a jump boost via the parasol on the left side, resulting in the character falling. This is the result of how the in-game systems are designed. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. So, I'm not sure if that is actually going to be fixed or not, but that is actually a, what do you call it, a pre-warning, I would say. So... We're just going to keep that in mind that Daisy Cruiser R will actually have a little flaw in the course. And those are the tour gifts. You can also get a Rosalie 9 as well as that uh, cart, a Soda Jet, if you are in the Gold Pass gang. And that's going to be about it for that. Uh, first part we're going to get into that when we come, when we come into the shop. Get event tokens by making opponents crash. So that's going to be the tokens challenge for this tour. Uh, you have to cause your opponents to crash maybe with red shells or giant bananas or anything else. In which we will get you those tokens. So that's gonna be a bit of a challenge, I would say. The first exchange in the tour's 30% of the cheap, cheap me racing suit is here, and I believe it has the yep the bubble special skill, which is actually, I would say, terrible. I mean, the bubble is actually one of the most terrible items here, but actually, it's quite good compared to the, like the bullet bill or something else because the bubble, when you use it, it of course you are gonna be going a bit slow and you cannot quite control it, but it will actually get you action points, which is actually quite good. But yeah, that's gonna be that special skill for the cheap, cheap me racing suit right there. 70 rubies for this tour only. And moving on to the banners, we have the jukebox buggy pack, the glittering parasol pack, and the Birdo white pack. Not gonna talk about that abomination right there. And yep, yeah, that's gonna be about it for the notes. Let's check out the sh uh, the driver section. Let's see if there are any other new characters. I mean, we we definitely know there are gonna be two new characters, which are gonna be Daisy Sailor, and she has a special skill of the double bub bombs. Right there, we also have a uh, Toadette Sailor with the Mushroom Cannon. All right, and of course, other than that, we already saw the Mirror Racing Suits, which are gonna be the Dolphin Mirror Racing Suit with the Dash Ring, which you can get from the Token Shop, and the Cheap Cheap Mirror Racing Suit with the Bubble. Moving on into the card section, uh, let's see if there are anything new. I'm not too sure, but there should be actually. Uh, so where is the new part? Okay, so I think there are three new stuff right here. We have the flowery bat wagon with a dash panel plus. We have the coral jet cruiser with a slipstream plus, and the watermelon cart with the rocket start plus. And I think that's all for the new carts, I guess. Moving on into the glider section. Uh, where is it? Okay, I think I can see two. We have the tropical balloons the, with a blooper plus, as well as the fire menta glider with a super horn plus. So yeah, I think that's all for the new gliders and stuff. Now we let's move on into the shop. So this is gonna be the me racing suit lineup, including the newest cheap cheap me racing suit that is thirty percent off, right there. Ocean pipe one. We have Daisy Sailor, the flowery bat wagon, and the tropical balloons glider debut in the spotlight. What is more, that Mars Wear is also back in the spotlight. So there's gonna be a total of six items here: two drivers, two carts, and two gliders. Of course, Daisy the Flowery Bat Wagon as well as the Tropical Balloons here are new items, so half of this part is actually new, while the other half is all returning items. So I might be pulling on this pipe because I actually want myself Mario Swimwear right there, so I'm gonna try my luck later on. So that's gonna be that for that pipe. Token Shop, as I mentioned before, the Dol Dolphin Racing Suit, Peach Vacation, and the Golden Pipe. The other regular stuff are going to be the Green Pipe, Rubies, Coins, and various tickets right there. Okay, they actually have one extra right there. I'm not too sure why though. And daily selects, I'm gonna grab. Uh, I'm gonna grab the driver point boost ticket right here. I'm not sure why it's just say crap. I think it's just you know because of the ocean theme. And this week's tier shot lineup, we have Daisy. We have the uh, wild pink cart, which actually I have a level one. I think I just like recently got it. 
and we have the cheap cheap masks and of course the others include t uh, those various tickets and that's gonna be about it for uh, our introduction preview on this ocean tour so there are gonna be two new tracks as we guys uh, may have already known it's gonna be Daisy Cruiser from the GCN and Singapore Speedway 2 the second variant for Singapore Speedway so yep there's are the two new tracks coming in for this tour I'm not too sure uh, about the variant I think there are gonna be three minimum a normal reverse and trick I'm not sure if reverse trick will exist uh, today in this tour uh, after their release but we're gonna be checking out after that so now let's move on into the first race of our tour here today it's gonna be the Daisy Cup which is also gonna be our first rank cup uh, for this week we have Daisy Cruiser Oh, okay, look at that. Now, this is what I call a daisy course. I have There are actually five daisies in the top shelf for this course, and I have four of them, which is actually amazing. So I'm going to go with, of course, level three, a daisy thigh dress. I'm going to go with the cream cat cruiser and the wonderful wings. So we are actually off to a very good start of the bed right here. I have all the top shelves for this track, GCN daisy cruiser normal variant. So that's something good to see. And actually also kudos to the Daisy that I got like two tours ago where I actually got uh, Daisy uh, Swimwear, Daisy uh, Holiday Cheer, as well as... Uh, what's the other Daisy that I got? Uh, I already forgot. But uh, I mean, uh, not including Daisy Tide Dress which was actually the spotlight during that time. I think it was the Bangkok tour. So that's actually really, really good to see. Even though I'm not really a Daisy fan, but... Having to get in to get these daisies with amazing skills in this game specifically is actually really really good. Alright, so so far so good. I'm actually liking the track so far. I did not have the GCN. What's the GCN? I think it was the Game Boy Advance, right? Something like that. I did not uh, have that uh, game of course before and uh, yeah, uh, those stuff. I was not able to play in the track. I mean, I, I played Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart uh, DS back then. And of course, these tracks were not in those games. In the vanilla version, of course, not the modern version stuff. Uh, but I've definitely I've seen a gameplay on this track, of course, on YouTube, of course. And looks like in this game, the remake in Mario Kart Tour here looks pretty awesome. I would have to say that. So this will be the end of the normal variant for Daisy Cruiser here. We actually were able to front run the entire time. And that's going to be first place finished, 13,371 points. Uh, as for, what do you call it, uh, combo-wise, uh, it's not quite good, I would say. I mean, it's a normal track, right? So it's going to be quite hard to maintain the combos. But still, 6,135 coins and 6 tokens. And that's going to be our first race done. And we're going to be climbing all the way up to 8th place for now. And now moving on into Koopa Cape R. Alright, so we're going to be playing as Pink Shiger Ninja, of course, level 4 with the Giant Banana Chances. And then we'll go with the uh, Tuk Tuk, as well as the Cheap Cheap Mask, level 5. And looks like we're back into Koopa Cape. I think this uh, track has uh, went into a hiatus for maybe like one or two tours, so not very long. I mean, there are a few courses that has not been in the game for like over a few months already. Uh, but yeah, this track is coming back after a short break, so... Looks like we just have to enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to 8th place since I went uh, for the outside part. Uh, which was going for that half pipe. Which I literally thought I'd failed to, uh, you know, get on top, get a top off. Uh, but we're now back into 4th place thanks to the help of my double mushrooms. And I think someone just got mid-air uh, giant banana. Or maybe not someone, maybe something. And then of course I got bombed. That's very unfortunate. And now we're back into 8th place! Hooray! And maybe we can get to see some lightning frenzies, who knows, right? But apparently I will get the exact same thing that I got from the first box just now, which was gonna be the double mushrooms. Oh my god, that was a fail, my god. I have no idea what that was. Sometimes, you know, this game is just really, really janky, something like that. So that's very unfortunate. I was not able to, you know, get, uh, get atop the half pipe, and that kind of cost my. Uh, my combo streak. Even though I already kind of lost it uh, earlier on when I got bombed. But yeah. I thought I had another item. 
I'm not sure where that went. I think I, I think it got uh, hit somewhere, it got destroyed. But we're now in third place thanks to those uh, mushroom frenzy and a few of the red shell and green shells. Maybe even though it did not actually help me. Ooh, this is where we want to see. This is going to be a mega, uh, not mega, a giant banana frenzy. Let's go. I'm gonna take ins uh, this band inside. I'm loving it. I'm loving to see everyone getting hit with my giant banana that I have laid on uh, the track. Uh, of course, I, lo I wrongly drifted there. And that's going to be a second place finish with a total score of 23,187 points. Alright, huge, uh, huge ending for us even though I, did not w I was not able to get first place because my last box did not give me a red shell that was actually going to be useful for me to pass Daisy there. But yeah, second place uh, we got two frenzies, mushroom and a giant banana frenzy which was actually very very huge. So 8.6k for 5 stars, 40 coins and we got a whopping 34 tokens. That was all the help from the giant banana frenzy that we just got. And now we're going to be claiming another tour challenge done and this one is going to be the first sheet. Use 10 mushrooms and of course that will be of the help of the mushroom frenzy that I got in the first lap I think. And then get a, fantas uh, a fantastic combo a total of 5 times as well as cause opponents to crash in frenzy mode in the gold challenges sheet. Right moving on to... Uh, fifth place for now and as I was saying moving on to Singapore Speedway 2R so this is going to be our first look onto Singapore Speedway 2 but it's going to be the reverse variant first so we have Luigi Vacation cat, a green cat cruiser and no top shelf glider unfortunately uh, so I'll go with the tropical glider so at least I have two top shelf stuff drivers and carts that is uh, but yeah with not having a top shelf glider will definitely make me to no, make the process of trying to get a non-stop combo harder. But we're gonna we're gonna be seeing how Singapore Speedway 2 looks like right now. Okay, so I think in the first one we're gonna go uh, straight up there. And ooh, this is actually a nice uh, place. I mean. I, I mean, I actually live in Malaysia and I my country is like literally above, uh, what do you call it? Above Singapore. So, but I, I've never, I've, I, I never really known the existence of that, you know, I think that bridge, I think you would call it. The colorful bridge, I'm not too sure. Uh, but that was actually a really nice, I would say, landmark. I mean, I know that we all know that the signature landmark of Singapore is going to be the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, if I got that name correct, of course. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's gonna be the first lap done for our uh, race on Singapore Speedway 2. And this is actually the reverse version by the way, so uh, this is actually reversed and not the regular one. And I think they just got wrecked right there. Oh, thank god. So the colorful bridge right here I would say. Really, really beautiful. I don't even care about the, you know, the, uh, the combo continuation right there. And there we go, first place finish with a total score of 13,709 points. Nine thousand four hundred for five stars, twenty-seven coins, and twelve tokens. All right, and that's gonna be another tour challenge finish. Let's see what this one is going to be. Cause an opponent, cause an opponent to crash while gliding. All right, as well as do fifty mini turbo boosts. All right, moving on to ring race. Before that, we're gonna go all the way to first place for now with only fifty thousand points. That's actually quite low for my tier. So I'm going to have to try and brush that up later on. But yeah, moving on to Ring Race, we are going to be playing as Bowser in 3DS Bowser's Castle. Alright, I'm not sure if we actually have played this exact challenge in this exact course. So it seems new to me. 
Cannot really remember though because I mean, I think uh, 3DS Bowser's Castle re was released like a year ago. Well, not, I mean not a year ago. I mean like earlier this year. That's what I meant. Er earlier this year. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely do not have the memory span to actually remember the exact specifics. I think this is actually a new uh, challenge for this specific track. I think I'm not too sure. But so far so good, we already got the 15 minimum requirement uh, rings for one star. Here we are on to the final uh, turns right here, so it's 27 already. I'm gonna have to go through the, you know, the ramps right here to get those rings. Yep, as I expected, so the rings will appear. A good thing I got the last one just now, if not, it would have been a, a shame. And that's going to be 51 uh, rings in total. I did not uh, miss out on any rings, so I think that's going to be the maximum that you can get. So 51 rings, I think the minimum requirement will be 40. 35, okay, that's, that's actually quite lower than my expectation. So 35 rings for the 3-star requirement, and you can only miss out on, let's see, that's around 16 rings that you can only miss out on. So actually, very, very doable. No big deal right there, and that's going to be the Daisy Cup done. Moving on into the Me Cup, but before that, we're going to be going into the Today's Challenge Quick Play for day one of the tour today. We will we'll be playing as Dixie Kong on 3DS Cheap Cheap Lagoon in the Me Cup. We also have the Super Blooper Cart and the Cheap Cheap Masks Glider. Okay, Super Blooper, I, I actually uh, said that names, uh, that the cart's name from Mario Kart Wii, if I remember correctly. So I thought uh, in this game would be a bit different, but apparently it is the exact same. Super blooper. And we're going to be starting this race off with a triple banana frenzy. Let's go. I wasn't even drifting and my character just went right. I thought I was dead with a clam. Oh my god, that was an unnecessary... Uh, what do we to call it? Unnecessary high jump right there. But I lost the combo. No big deal. Lost the combo again. We're gonna get this red shell on the way. And there we go. Yoshi Egg Hunt gonna get redded. We're gonna have to try as much as possible to hit the other opponents because those will definitely get us some of those tokens. I am not drifting, guys. Oh my god, I actually somehow dri uh, avoided some of my bananas right there. And there we go, I am dead from the clam. Hmm, weird. The first lap just now, I lost a combo there. But that time, I did not uh, lose the combo. And anyways, that's going to be a first place finish with a total score of 19,132 points. Sorry, 130 points. I'm not sure where the two came from. But yeah, there we go. 5,000 for 5 stars, 32 coins, 22 tokens. And let's open up the TCP for the first day of the tour today. And it's going to be 10 item tickets. That's amazing. Even though I already have like almost 3,000 or 4,000 saved up. And that is still amazing. The collection continues and we're going to be claiming yet another torch challenge finish. Gold challenges, which is cause opponents to crush three times while underwater. Definitely an ocean themed challenge right there. Moving on into Coconut Mall R. I think I... Do I have Bur the Mi Birdo Mi Racing set? Let me check real quick. I'm not sure if I do though, but we'll see. Oh, okay, I do, so never mind. So I'm going to go into Coconut Mall R right now. And we are going to be having a few characters that I can use. Uh, I'll go with, of course, our boy... Uh, I want to go with Yoshi Eagle Egg, but I'm going to go with Kangaroo this time around. We are going to have the prop cart as well as the gold crane. Alright, so this is the reverse version, of course. Instant buy for Peach Yukata right there. But I'm afraid I'm gonna be buy it later on.
Ah, oh, I thought I got the super mini turbo there, apparently not. Yep, uh, thank you for eating my back green shell, Peach. Peach has got wrecked by me twice in a row now. Alright, coming into lap 2. Alright, Pete Fernando will hit onto my green shell. I always go for the top route for uh, this variant. I'm not sure if the bottom route will actually be better though. I mean, the top route is actually easier for me to maintain a combo uh, when entering the mall there. So that's why I always go for the top route there. And then Mario Swimmer hit my green shot that I just threw back there. So no friends is this race, but we're going to be getting the first place front run. And there we go, non-stop combo as well, 19,550 points. And Yoshi Kangaroo will level up to 800, which is going to be the maximum base points for uh, without any uh, cap up tickets. So yeah, 9.5k for 5 stars, we got 19.5k as I mentioned earlier on, 62 coins and only 8 tokens. But that's going to be that, let's claim yet another tour challenge finish. And this one is going to be in the tour challenges, one sheet, Glenn, three hits with green shells. And I think I got like two alone in that race. So that's uh, an enormous, 50 coins for the one row done as well as get first place 3 times in a row in races 100cc or above in the gold challenge sheet as well as earn a score of 10,000 or higher on 5 courses. And that's another row done, so that's another 50 coins. Now let's move on into Wario Shipyard. Uh, gonna go with Mario Satella view because he's not yet maxed out in terms of its uh, base points. Without any points cap up, of course. Okay, the lag is coming in. I did not see the bomb. I think I just threw my green shell into the bomb. So I was not able to see it though. So yeah, I did not see it. And of course the bomb exploded in my face. That was very unfortunate, I would say. And with this lag, it's not going to make it easier. Okay, we got a Mega Mushroom. I'm going to get out of 8th place. And now into 4th place. And of course those crabs, or its proper name in Mario Universe, the side steppers will get in my way. But it will not be a big effect. And we got that green shell hit onto Mario Golf, if I saw that correctly. And now coming into the second lap. Okay, some more double mushrooms, and of course I'm going to be getting uh, bombed right there in the face again. Alright, the red shell hits on to Penguin Toad. And we got double red shells as we come into first place. We're gonna keep these red shells as protection. We're gonna throw one back just in case it hits onto someone. But it did not, unfortunately. And we're gonna get shocked. But I'm still gonna be able to maintain my combo there. Oh, Penguin Toad actually went uh, the inside route and was able to kind of clutch it out. So we're gonna be finishing in second place, no big deal right there. Not bad, but it's quite bad actually because I lost the first place run. But yeah, there we go. Second place, not bad. 17,530 points, 8.6k for 5 stars, 24 coins, and 14 tokens. And of course, yet another tour challenge finish. Let's see what this one is going to be. 
first sheet. Oh no, it's gonna be a turtle points challenge sheet. 100,000 points special, 1,000 coins, and one normal driver skill up ticket. And moving on to the final race of today's uh, recording, it's gonna be Goomba Takedown. We'll be playing as Rosalina in what seems to be Vanilla Lake. I'm not too sure which Vanilla Lake is going to be, but we'll see. Or maybe it's not gonna be exactly. So it looks like it's going to be our max Vanilla Lake 1. So, okay, Goomba Takedown. So you can only also uh, hold one item at a time. I'm not sure why I jumped there, even though I had the the green shell equipped. But uh, for this specific challenge race, I definitely do remember we've played it before somewhere. Uh, I cannot really remember, but definitely we have played it before. So it's going to be, going to be 10 for the one star requirement. Whatever. Sometimes using your own body to take down the Goomba is definitely much more... Ah, oh, I missed it. Dang it. I was too much to the right side. And of course the leg is c going haywire right now. Alright, we got it. I'm not going to drift right here because sometimes that would definitely ruin it for me. So okay, there we go. 49. I still, I think I remember when the first time we played this uh, challenge race, I think I got quite bad. Because I missed like a few of those green shell hits. But there we go. We go much better this time. We're going to be getting 64 Goombas. I think I only missed out on one. Early round, so 65 is going to be the maximum one. So 30 only for the three star requirement. And yeah, there we go. Easy peasy done, and there's a me cup down and dusted. Right, uh, we're gonna be continuing on with the Bowser Jr. Cup in tomorrow's recording, as well as the Cat Peach Cup after that. Oh, interesting. Water Shipyard R, okay. I think I think I'll do one more race, Kalimari Desert 2 R team, because I kinda want to use the cheap cheap me racing suit uh, for tomorrow's TC uh, QP. Today's challenge quick play that is. So I'm gonna go with Mario Aviator, the prop cart, as well as the golden crane. So, stand by for the lag guys because I uh, I have been like playing like what how many races now? 8 races in one re one recording go so that's definitely what is going to be uh, the cause of the lag right now. So usually uh, I would just like uh, maybe one cup after I play I will just kind of reset the recording. Uh, but this time I'm just too lazy to do that so I'm going to do all of these 8 races or actually 9 in one go, so that's why it's gonna be a bit laggy right now. But just a little more, then it's gonna be two, right? So it's gonna be one big lap or one big loop, I would say. I'm not sure if I still have the combo or not from the start. I think I do, though. Yeah, the lag, the frame drop is definitely making the race harder to control. Of course, the, the blue shell. The... Okay, I think that was not my ticket. I, I, if you guys saw, I think I did uh, use my ticket, one of my tickets there. Oh, so it doesn't, so thank God for that. We need a ticket right here though. Oh, that would have been a good uh, green shell throw though. Can I get a red shell here, please? No. Of course the game just doesn't want to give me a red shell when I'm in second. Oh, we got an ultra, that's nice. And finally, there we go. Second place finish with a total score of 16,070. So, lost the first place because to the blue shell, of course. And then did not get any red shells, which is quite unfortunate. So, at least we'll take second place, not bad. 7.8k for 5 stars, 48 coins, and 6 tokens. And that will be about it for today. I will continue on tomorrow with, of course, the Bowser Jr. Cup and the Cat Peach Cup. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. 
Alright, we're back here once again. It is the second day of the ocean tour and I just logged in for the day and we're going to be getting the login bonus of 2,500 coins and that's going to be the same exact uh, rewards for the next two days of course. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the today's challenge quick play for today. We have the cheap cheap me racing suit on 3DS Watership Yard R in the Cat Peach Cup. We also have the Roaring Racer cart and the Starry Great Sail Glider for this quick play race event today. So second day today and I intend to complete the uh, the first episode here of this walkthrough today so let's go and do some regular stuff here totally normal right there I'm gonna get double the the item boxes what the hell just happened to everyone right there I think I, I literally just passed four people or actually three because I passed seven six and fifth and now I'm in four so yeah I did pass three people uh, from that, I'm not sure what happened to the other AI. Can okay, I in third place? Can I have a red shell? Oh, okay, someone. That guy had a protection. Oh, lots of come by. Held it for too long. Alright, now coming into the lap, uh, the third lap. Okay, I'm not gonna do those uh, weird tech that I just did just now, which is just to dive into the water. That tech is actually just to, you know, uh, get double item boxes. So, okay, now we have a bubble, which is definitely uh, quite useless, but we're still having the action count going on, which is nice. But it would have been better if uh, the bubble item actually have a you know indicator that the bubble is going to be ending. So you can kind of know and get ready uh, when to kind of take control of your bubble again. I, I accidentally threw that uh, green shell backwards. And I'm dead! What was that? That was a wasteful red shell. And I'm going to use a ticket and I got a mushroom with two green shells. Ah, okay, my green shell did not hit onto the guy in third place. But we're gonna be claiming our fourth place finish with a total score of 12,307 points. That is, uh, I would say, not a great race right there because that's not many, the regular points that we get. But it's literally gonna be 8,000 for 5 stars requirement, 25 coins, and 12 tokens. Let's open up the TCP for day 2 today, and it's going to be Baby Luigi, 1540, level 7. Alright. Moving on, uh, we're going to be going back to the Bowser Jr. Cup. This is also going to be the th next week's rank Cup. So let's move on into Baby Park R. Looks like Baby Park is returning as well this tour. But this time around, we have ba Bowser Jr. in the top shelf, which is nice because he's the only level 7 up here. Uh, I'll go with the Grey Cat Cruiser and the Candlelight Flight. Alright, this is the reverse version of Baby Park, so I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's reverse or normal, they all literally look the same. Only I think the reverse version have added ramps, like right here, so that's the only thing that's different, I think, from the normal version. Good thing I did not get a Reddit there. Okay, I still have the combo magically. Never mind, I spoke too soon! As I said that, I immediately lost it. Okay, lap 3. There's, there are 5 laps all together. Oh, Nabbit taking the inside lane. Okay. But I'm going to get the slipstream, which will put me back into first place. Oh, Nabbit taking the inside. That's what you get for taking the inside lanes, and of course I got shocked R out right there. And now we're in the final lap, so hopefully nothing bad or actually too bad happens to us right now. That was scary. But we're going to be claiming our first place finish with a total score of 18,107 points. My Grey Cat Cruiser is going to fully maxed out 
uh, without any points cap up ticket. 10.3k for 5 stars, 49 coins, 10 tokens. And we have an, uh, another tour challenge finish. Let's see what this one is going to be. Total points challenge, 150,000 points special, 3 rubies, 1 normal driver points cap up ticket. As well as in a gold challenge, do a total of 5 slipstream boosts. And that's one row done, another 50 coins. And let's move on into Singapore Speedway 2T. So this is going to be the trick version of Singapore Speedway 2 right here. Uh, so I have two top shelf drivers. I'm going to go with Rosalina Swimwear, which is of course the coin box g gal. We have the Cheap Snorkel Level 3 and Record Setter. Okay, we have a full set of top shelves for this course as well. I think we've only played the reverse version before, which was in the first cup, in the Daisy Cup that is. And I did not have a top shelf glider for that. So this one will definitely try to tie loose ends so I have all the top shelves and they are actually at least level 3 so that's, that's something good to see as well okay we're starting off with a coin box which is actually gonna be a bit uh, uh, what do you call it not ideal because <laughs> at that moment we are all in the air so that's not ideal as well to get the coins but okay I just got hit with the Giga bomb that was still being held, wow. Oh, luster. Okay, it is actually also quite lagging right now. What was that? Oh my god. This, I think this strike is actually quite big. Sorry, Pauline had to do that to you. Oh, free mushroom. Okay, I'll take that. And now we're into the second lap. I I kind of spammed my mega mushroom there. I do not want to get bombed. I saw the bomb that was being held by Toad. Of course, my mega mushroom expired when the red shell was about to come. Dang it! So these uh. Fast forwarding lanes do not change apparently. I mean we kind of already established that since last uh, the last time we played which was in the reverse version. That, that could have been very terrible. But uh, I'm not sure if that was calculated or not. I did see the bomb. I threw the red shell anyways because I kind of want to use my coin box quicker so that's uh, that's why but we were able to do so by doing that and that's gonna be our, our third place finish for us not too bad but not too good I mean it was kind of a chaotic race but yeah 19,467 points 12k 5 stars 38 coins and 6 tokens all right moving on to Daisy Cruiser T all right so it looks like I only have one top shelf a driver for this course, uh, uh, which is gonna be Daisy Holiday Cheers, you guys can see. So, I was quite lucky actually because I actually got her like from the special Daisy pipe in the Bangkok tour. So, yeah, good, uh, good thing I got her right. So, cards only have a jet cruiser, and for gliders, I have two, which I will go for the candlelight slide. So, for the trick variant of Daisy Cruiser, I have all the top shelves, but uh, they are not high level ones. I mean, my Daisy is level one, I have not even touched her at, at all. Maybe I did a bit, but, but only a bit if I did though. Uh, but yeah, let's see how Trick Version goes for this track. Oh, okay, I was expecting to fall down all the way into the swimming pool right here. Apparently not. We're gonna go all the way on the on the ferry top right there. Someone just sniped the green shot and somehow I was not the target. Okay, interesting. Thank God I did not get green shell right there. I really thought you would actually trick off that part. But apparently you don't.
Okay, still have the combo and running somehow. I'm gonna try the regular route this time. And of course I lost the combo there. I did kinda... Uh, held the, the, the drift for too long, that's why. Okay, Mushroom first. Of course! Okay, thank god. Even though I got hit before the line, but thank god I was able to, you know, uh, cross the line b before anyone else. So first place uh, finish for us, and that was actually a good race. I kind of like the trick variant. I mean, I always do like the trick variants of any, any course, really. Uh, 10,300 for 5 stars, we got 16,135 points, 45 coins, and 8 tokens. Alright, moving on to time trial, we have Rosalina. In RMX Rainbow Road 2, or what it seems to be like because I can see the bouncy mushrooms in the background. So it looks like RMX Rainbow Road 2 will be returning in this tour as well. After quite a, maybe like a 2 or 3, 2 to 5 tour hiatus maybe. Not too sure. But that was not ideal because I, it kind of went me to a complete stop. Which is not ideal for time trials. But I'm not too sure where to actually use these mushrooms because there aren't any where that you can actually kind of cut in this track. So I'm just gonna use one right there. And that's the first lap done. With in 44.83 seconds right there. Okay, that was uh, much better. I'm gonna use the mushroom right there as well. And there we go, 128.95 is going to be our time for this time trial race. And let's see what's going to be the minimum requirement for 3 stars, or ma maximum I would say. It's going to be 136, so we are practically faster by uh, 7 seconds, which is definitely okay. I mean, there isn't much, uh, no ways for you guys to actually screw up on that race. But that's going to be the Bowser Jr. Cup done. Let's move on back into the Cat Peach Cup. We have RMX Vernal League 1R coming up next. We have... Uh, Mario Satellavi, oh, yeah, I guess I use him. Uh, we'll go with the 8 bit pipe frame as well as the record setter. I definitely did saw my level 6 Ice Mario there, but I just want to go with someone that has a, I, I would say, better special skill because my Mario Satellavi has the lucky 7. And of course, it's definitely going to be useful if we actually get this, uh, the, you know, the item. So getting a lucky 7 would be best if we are in the bottom spots. Okay, so I actually somehow uh, hit that guy's bomb. Wait, not bomb, I mean a uh, shell, sorry. Okay, we're in 6th place and we got a bomb. That bomb actually went too far away. Ooh, a blooper. Okay, I'm gonna try to stall. Let's try and get as many. Never mind. I try to stall so that I w am able to actually get a, a you know, much more number of uh, hits on that blooper. But I guess the shock just wants to happen at that moment, so that's quite unfortunate. Oh, got a lucky seven, finally. Of course, I'm gonna use the ticket right here. Oh, okay, a red shell frenzy, let's go. But definitely gonna be a one waste, I would say. Not, um, not really a waste, but uh, we're gonna be skipping this item box set right here. Then what was that, red shell? Alright, clutch red shell, and there we go. First place finish with a total score of 20,711 points. 
So quite a huge raise right there as well. We got a red shell frenzy at the very end. Uh, we also got a lucky seven in in the start of lap two, which is not that bad. And there we go. My Mario Satellite View is fully maxed out uh, in its first base cap up points. Uh, 9.1k for 5 stars, 33 coins, 20 tokens. And we have a snap a photo challenge coming up next, but before that we're going to be claiming yet another tour challenge done. Let's see what this one's going to be, and it is going to be in the Turbo Points Challenge 1 sheet, 200,000 points special, 1,000 coins, and one Super Driver Skill Up ticket, as well as one in a Gold Challenge sheet, land 10 hits with Red Shells. And this, this definitely might have been uh, the courtesy of the Red Shell friends that I just got, and there's going to be one row done, 50 coins. Alright, moving on to Snap A Photo Challenge, we're going to be playing as, of course, the brand new Daisy Sailor set, with, which is Daisy Sailor herself, and then, what's the name of this card? Uh, Orange Batwagon, I think, and the Tropical Balloons. Alright, so two or more drivers, a Jump Boost and a Take A Photo uh, are going to be the, uh, what do you call it, the requirements for this Take A Photo Challenge event, and we can see all the swimwears right here. I think that's okay, even though Daisy is not in her best portrait mode. But I guess that will do, because if I if I kind of waited for a bit too long, maybe I will not be able to get the jump boost uh, requirement. So I'm just going to grab that picture, and if I want to get a more nicer picture later on, I can do so later. But that's going to be that challenge done, and the Cat Peach Cup done entirely. Now moving on into the Comet Cup, which we will, we will be doing next time. So I guess we can start off with two tracks that I do not have the characters yet. So I'm going to do that tomorrow, of course. Iggy Cup going to be opening it up right now, and then we can also pull the free pipes of the Ocean Pipe 1. Let's see what we can get from this free pipes, and I think I will also end it off with the pipe pulls later on. So yeah, Birthday Eagle is going to be the first uh, item to come out, and the second free uh, pipe will also be a green pipe. And let's see what this one will be. It's going to be the Red Kitty Card, 14 of 40, level 7. Alright, let's move on into the tour I'm gonna open up uh, for whatever I can. So, yeah, we're gonna be seeing some collection going on. Rubies, a uh, pair of foil, 740 level 7. Coins, tickets, more rubies. The cheap charger, 1140 level 7. Baby Peach, 540 level 7. Koopa Troopa, 1040 level 7. So the Jet, 1 of 16, level 7. The journey for that card to level 8 starts now. Rosalina, 3 of 16, level 7. Alright, so yeah, we've got a bunch of rubies and coins as well, which is very, very am amazing. And now let's move on into the shop. Before we do some pipe pulls, let's see what's going to be my uh, my daily selects lineup. Okay, I'm going to grab that glider point boost ticket. I have 600 already, wow. And yeah, okay, let's, let's move on into the pipe pulls. I'm going to be pulling Ocean Pipe 1. Uh, my main goal is, of course, to get maybe Mario Swimwear. I know it's not like most of you guys' uh, main goal is that, but I'm trying to get myself Mario Swimwear because I think his trick animations look cool. Uh, but yeah, we're also going to be going for anything. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm missing four items, including the new stuff, of course. So yeah, let's try and pull. So first 10 pull. Okay, green pipe, but let's see if there's going to be any high ends hiding in this pool. So I'm just going to fast forward. Land ship, Biddy Buggy, Blue 7, Fire Bro, 6 of 8, level 6, 2 more to go to level 7 for him. Marshmallow, the Zucchini, 2 of 5, level 5. Piston Glider, Paper Glider, Baby Peach, Turtle Picru, 4 of 16, level 7. Alright, so we got, what, 4 supers, which is actually not that bad. So let's uh, pull another 10. Can we get a gold pipe? No, it's not. But let's see if there are going to be some high ends hiding in this pool. So we're going to fast forward again. Okay, we've got a high end. But it's not going to be uh, either spotlight. It's going to be a regular high end. And that's going to be the Dragon Wings. Already a free level up to level 3 for that. DK Pass RT and Wallow U Pinball as its new favorite courses. Alright. Roy. Biddy Buggy. Morton, Birthday Girl, Le Royale, 405 level 5, Larry, Ludwig, we're getting all the Koopalings right now, apparently. Alright, so there we go, we got one high end, we got one supers, and the rest are all normal. So I'm going to do another 10 pull for this episode, and maybe we can uh, continue on some more in the next uh, episodes, of course. 
So uh, I'm gonna try and pull it from here. Maybe we can get some luck. Right, so final 10 pull of this episode. So this episode we're gonna be doing only three pulls and it's a gold pipe this time around. Let's see if we are gonna be getting something that I want. Maybe any of the new spotlights items or maybe Mars Wimber. All right, the first pull will be the pipe buggy already maxed out. So that's gonna be coins coming into our pockets. And then we have the birthday girl, 10 of 40 level seven. Red Yoshi Turbo, Red Turbo Yoshi, 3 of 5 level 5, 2 more to go for that card to level 6. The Koopa Dasher, 19 of 40 level 7. This is the 5th one, and it's gonna be the green kitty card, so we're already halfway through this pipe. 5 more to go, and this one's gonna be Ludwig, 15 of 40 level 7, I hope I actually count right. Okay, Fire Bro, 7 of 8 level 6, 1 more to go for him to level 7. Okay, this is the Head Honcho, that's gonna be level 2 for that card. I'm gonna be disappointed if that is gonna be the gr the golden pipe indicator. Koopa Chupa. And this one's going to be Baby Peach. 7 of 40, level 7. And okay, so it was a hit honcho in that 10 pull pipe. So, so far, after 3 10 pulls, we have not gotten yet any of the spotlights, but we're gonna continue on next time, so stay tuned for that. And that's gonna be about it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time starting off with Baby Part 2 using Daisy Sailor in the Comet Cup and I'll see you guys then. Bye bye, happy Mario Karting.